What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Video Games. I came back to Rhodes to see Bo um, because Penelope wants us to give him her letter, but I do see a stranger mark on the map. So let's at least check out what that is all about before we start any actual mission. Hello. You seem in your own world <laughs> is the nicest way to put it, I think. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? No. I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. Oh. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. Oh. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. No, it's that not. That's my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I got you, sir. I'm sort of forced to. <laughs> Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Then we'll see. Mm -hmm. Um, my prediction is I'm probably Oh. Yeah. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, sir. My prediction is I'm gonna try and talk to them and be oh. all civil like I always do. And then they're just gonna shoot me. And I'm gonna be forced to defend myself, which either way, as long as it gets done, I guess. We will see. I have no idea how far away this is. Probably not that far, I hope. For a stranger encounter. Hi there, mister. Hey, mister. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a habit of just greeting random people. Because why not? You know, it's more immersive. Um, shows off the kind heart that Arthur really has. Oh, they did get kind of far, huh? This is making me wonder how long that guy's been sitting on that crate. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad. Oh, here we are. They've got it guarded. Oh, really? Okay, I think I got too close. And they didn't like that. got scared I don't even want to say they got scared I think I genuinely just got too close and they didn't like it though oh well I was just trying to have a civil conversation what did I say what did I say thank you for all your rings and your pocket watches though so far this is gonna look great for me okie dokie I'm pretty sure this is where we were at before, weren't we? When we were with the deputy? Cause that building I just went into looked Come very on, familiar. Yep. All right, Alicia. Yep. 
This is very intriguing looking, actually. Not even gonna lie. Like, this just seems fun to ride. <laughs> it is fun to ride so far. I've barely even done anything, but I like it. <laughs> ah, I knew it. I had a feeling. Right? Like, oh, I knew deep down someone was going to freaking come after me. But I, like, a little piece of me was like, maybe not this time, please. My hopes have been crushed. At least he's doing a good job catching up, though. Look at her. Yeah. Alright, we're kind of speeding through right now. <laughs> Anyone in my way, make it ran over if you're not off to the side. And I'm not sorry about that. Okay, we made it back. After this mission is over, I should probably refill my dead eye core. Not core, my rings. Okay, I should probably slow down. I'm out here wobbling everywhere in this bumpy road. All right, go ahead, mister. Make it quick, though. Why do you guys always do that? I wait for you to cross, and then you just stop in my way anyway. Oh, God. Let me not run into any buildings. Ah, uh, you know this better, don't you? Oh, we made it! Your horses missed you. Look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people <laughs> you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Take sorry, it, not they sorry. The only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts, but I can live in glorious hope. Yeah, it wasn't a trouble, now was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, let me give you something for your pleasure. Oh. Uh, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. What is it? What are we talking about? Special health cure? Oh, dang. Okay, so special health cure, beneficial for fortifying health. This medicinal tonic features yarrow. Variants were first used by the ancient Greeks. Mace, when mixed with, or sorry, mace, and <laughs> when mixed and boiled with a ginseng. I cannot talk today. Okay, so it's a great blood purifier and quickly restores full health. How to prepare. Carefully mix two of each herb in a metal cup. Boil over fire until reduced to a sticky liquid. Place in a glass bottle with a stopper. Administer as needed to boost health. We're learning things. Learning great things. Better cures. Oh my gosh, this is a pretty dog. I was like, is this what I think it is? <gasps> what? Are you pooping? I thought you were pooping. <laughs> I really thought you were. Okay, I'm gonna let you be. I see my horse do that enough, so. Let's, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go. But you have fun there. Back over to Bo. I hope they let me through this time without bullying me because I didn't appreciate that the first time. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm just you here for bow no business. Official business for the family. All right, come on. If you guys hate your job, just say it. <laughs> Damn, I don't need this negativity. 
Alright. Alicia, I'm gonna leave you here because it's just gonna be a little bit easier, probably, to go on foot. Okay. You're all the way over here this time. Oh, are you inside? Definitely was looking at the wrong man that was against the barn. <laughs> Do I have a great surprise for you, Bo? It's a pretty horse he's brushing, too. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. <laughs> but it'll cost you. Ooh. Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> you Here, can't be bothered take, with a young man in love. You, Martha. You'll... Thank you. Oh my god. What a woman. <laughs> She's This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Round here they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse oh. me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Oh, yeah, don't marry your cousin. But they're gonna They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. No. We gotta get going. Ooh, I wonder how this is gonna go. I like her already. Come on. This is really badass of her to do. We'll Women's suffrage protest. But yeah, I guess we should make sure she's not killed or anything. <laughs> Almost ran into him. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her I mean, it's true. As the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. Right. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! What? I can't force her. <laughs> they need me alive. Right? This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. I mean, I'll do it. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna say no. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I mean, yeah. I ain't never been in a protest march before madam well just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves and i'm sure you'll feel right at home shall we go <clears throat> well right, this could we go great or very terrible and we know our cause is a pure one yeah. yes ma'am let liberty reign wait i yeah. love this Mothers, wives, housekeepers and daughters we cook the food now, and we now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, I'll 
message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. I got you. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Mm. Oh, yikes. Okay, these people are angry. Right. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Okay. Get down! Oh damn! So they're just the worst for real. This actually makes my blood boil. <laughs> Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Oh, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't oh, you ever God. speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, I can freaking tell, man. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? I'm going to have to beat him up. Because I will. Where will we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you see? <laughs> if I saw Arthur, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna back up. Oh, well, let's go. Quick now. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Okay. Oh, we're Lord. going, we're going. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Okay. Look at the beautiful land. I'm gonna follow you then. You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kinda getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> my cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope yeah. and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. Right? Like, it's not a secret. The sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and... Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Well, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive Like, it could have been worse. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Well, is that what they call it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Thanks, Bo. I'm guessing I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, he gave us $30. 
We'd love to see it. We actually get, wow, we actually got a gold. <laughs> you just have to complete it within four minutes and 15 seconds. That's not too shabby. Well, now that we finished that business, I think we should go back to the camp, I guess, because we've got some missions lined up there. Ooh, we got three now. Oh, we got one for Abigail, Mr. Pearson, and Molly. I think I want to do the Pe uh, Mr. Pearson. Because it has something to do with Sadie. At least that's what it looks like. So let's go head back. Yep. I hope the protesting ended all right. I was not expecting a mission like that, but I honestly, I loved it. I love that we got to see that and be a part of that. <clears throat> Although it kind of made me a little angry, but why wouldn't it, I guess? Since we're going back to camp, I'm going to go ahead and hunt me a quick deer real quick. So that I at least have something to bring. I'm going to get a little closer. Okay. I can't remember the last time I brought me or anything <laughs> to the camp. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Pick up my arrow, skin you real quick. I'm sorry I had to come this way, but my folks are hungry like a pro. <laughs> it was only a good pelt though. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Oh, hello. You probably don't want anything to do with me. Hey there, partner. Wow, must cover some ground on a horse like that. Thank you. Suit yourself. Oh! Anyway, how's it all going for you? Okay, well, don't <laughs> let me kick you. He's giving me a silent treatment. He's like, listen, I don't... I don't want... anything to do with you. Easy. I gotta brush Alicia real quick. And someone's wagon is here. What is going on, guys? Oh, okay. There's people in it. Whew. Oh, wait. This is our people. <laughs> I'm so slow today. To be fair, I'm not used to coming hey, up this way. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I got a market for Okay, it. we're doing this they mission first, I guess, guys. Someone to sell it, it was to. meant to be. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Well, thanks, Thank John. You, we'll see you later. Yes. Dutch asked him to look into something. With Hosea to again. Do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? Yes. I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, <laughs> helping. As we should, because they deserve it. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but... I mean, they could be some brains sure for the operation. For us somewhere, if we can get in the middle of it. We can sure try. God, I love the detail of all the moonshine actually, like, clattering in the wagon. Like, that's good. Alright, dude, you're going a little bit slow here. And I'm just gonna try and pass you. Damn, we're here already? I didn't realize it was this close! Alright, something's making me think that nothing really bad is gonna happen here, but we might be able to... S start scheming, I guess? 
which I'm kind of excited for. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Yeah, now I can actually get a look at it because last time I was sneaking around in the fog. <laughs> What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> His little laugh. She's at the house. <laughs> Alright. Of course we have to have we'll somebody you. with us. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. They have patience, because personally, I'd be like, no, <laughs> I don't want it. But I guess anything for money? What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. Well, the way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Got him! <laughs> Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, mm, that's who wants freaky. to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Oh, nice. It's actually working. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Oh, you she's know smart. What? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, ma'am. Okay, you that's not what I was expecting. Tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Well, Next damn. Up, the Rhodes Saloon. All of this. Here we go. It's gonna be like in your face, Gray. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Oh my God, that was forever ago. Yeah, considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Yeah. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Gangs that did him wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Mm. I know. That's it. Now we're uncertain ourselves. Oh, God. Blood <laughs> Too fast. We'll need some. I ain't playing dress up. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're, he doesn't like dress up. You're a clown's idiot brother. Well, that's putting it lightly. Wow, Jose. You're the brother turned idiot. Just <laughs> God damn. Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. No, no way. Smoke this pipe. Oh my god, I look insane. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh. Okay, that's really funny. I'm just not used to seeing Arthur like that. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. So right. true. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Benton. There, there, don't get mad now. Listen, this means our job is easy. And I'm not ever going to complain about that. Do we get to keep the hat, I wonder? <laughs> oh no. Sorry about the camera angles, guys. I'm just really zooming and I don't realize until the tight turns come in. Oh goodness. 
Like, we're dragging everyone out. Because <laughs> we've got the loudest wagon. Hey, you get out of the way! Out of the way! Damn! Okay, I may be turned idiot brother, but... You don't have to be mean about it. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. Fenton? She loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Damn, I just had to strangle her, huh? I love that we are very much committed. This is Arthur's new persona. We're playing this for the rest of the game, guys. <laughs> right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Hosea, you are too good. Yeah, we haven't been in this saloon yet. Oh, dang. Gentlemen! It's bougie in here. At least it looked like it. Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fent. He's a bit funny. But boy, <laughs> can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yes! The only rule is that you gotta oh. drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work! Go get him Oh, mad, they're gonna get so though. drunk. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody! Ooh, come there's on. your moonshine. Have fun. Oh my god, we do pour it ourselves! There we go. They're making it. We're making it. We're spilling a lot. Uh, that's fine though. <laughs> we got a whole fan club now. Uh, that was the longest 30 minutes, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Drink up, drink up. Oh, hello. There we go. Serve these men, serve these men, you murderous moron. And snap out of it. Murderous I'm moron. Sorry, gentlemen. He's not normally this slow. I'll have one, Ben. Up you oh, here, here. There we go. I keep forgetting we have to raise it first and then pour it over to the left. Serve the drinks, Fenton. You're not having another episode, are you? What? What is the spot? Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. Oh, God. This is really hard. Nope. There we go. I'm doing it better. I'm doing it better. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. Someone was riding someone else like a horse. That's funny. Get him. Ooh, okay. I want both those sons of bitches dead. There we go. Bet you didn't wish you were that close to me, huh? Okay, I'm coming! Oh! Oh my god, wait! I'm just running! I'm running! Oh shit, man! Oh fuck! Oh no! 
Jose, I just got thrown. I was trying to shoot him. Damn it. <laughs> All right, you know what? Since we want to go like this. Gotta go down. Oh my god, there's just so many of them. Like, this is insane. There we go. I just gotta make headshots because revolver is all I got. Oh my god, is that just a random stranger? Ooh. Here. I should have used Deadeye the first time. Where? Which way? Whoa. Okay, you go first, Jose. Yeah, but go quicker. Oh! Gosh darn it. Now he just left me. Hosea! I'm coming. Don't leave. Oh, I could have jumped onto the wagon from the freaking... That's what it was telling me to do. Okay, I panicked and I just ran down the stairs. My bad. Well, I'm trying. We've got to reload every once in a while. Oh, God. No, they're not. I mean, I wouldn't be. Oh, gosh. There we go. This is getting really rough. Ooh, got him. <laughs> All right, he, he fell off. We're fine. This train is really saving us right now. Thank God. There we go. Who else? All the way over there? I can't shoot him from that far. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> Oh! This over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah. I'm just grateful that we managed to pass all of that with a revolver. I mean, we died. I didn't die, but Hosea died once. That was from my lack of thinking, though, <laughs> because I was panicking. All right, we're good. Well, okay. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. <laughs> you think that woman? Oh, for sure. I was just about to say no, that. I don't think so. Really? I don't know. The way her attitude was, like, I feel like she knew what was gonna happen. She knew who was gonna be after the liquor. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost, but we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun. Is that a raider behind us? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, About what? The fine folks around these parts. I don't know, man. It's iffy. Nice. <laughs> exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Damn. what are you boys thinking? 
We try to rob them both. You sure? Are they ever sure? But like, we got why not? <laughs> been states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody gonna know we was here because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Oh, wow. Now you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time right. ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to this write a crazy. letter. Arthur, you, you got the right reaction, sir, because I'm just... That's wild. Um, hold on. I'm wanting to look at the map. I already know I did bad on that mission. I don't need a shove in my face. <laughs> okay, so, um, Hosea. Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean at the Baithwaite Manor. And then, Dutch told you to meet up with John and Javier at the Gray's Place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep real quick. Um, cause no one is really awake right now. <laughs> Another busy day. And then, oh hey, Uncle. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Okay, you well, do that. Do it quietly. <laughs> um, where, where's my tent? I, I don't even, I can't recognize where any of my stuff is. You flatter me. <laughs> I'm guessing it's this. Tell me some stories about when you was oh. young and pretty. Before what am, I, time what am I witnessing? Ravaged you. Good evening, Arthur. You horrible man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh my God, I really can't. Mr. Morgan. Oh yes, sir. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Not a surprise. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. What is that, a pocket watch? You should have it. Well, thank you. Did I, did I, wait. Well, thank you, but. Okay. You were blind drunk. Yeah, you got a pocket watch. Drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Well, thanks, sir. That was actually really nice and not what I was expecting. Okay, so let's sleep until the morning. I'm going to look at some camp upgrades because we have a lot of money, so might as well do some of that. And if there's anything interesting going on around camp, we'll kind of participate in that <laughs> and then uh, let's try and do a mr pearson's mission because i wanted to do that before oh yeah we gotta catch up on his journal we're a little bit behind um i gotta turn ah yep here's the uh, empty town i found i remember that Oh, what is this one? Another body that seems linked somehow to the previous one. More paper in the mouth. This is from the serial killer mission that we were doing together. Saw Mr. Mason again. This time he was taking pictures of wolves. Still doing his hardest to get himself eaten. Not surprised. Aww. I love his drawings. I love them so much. All right, more problems have befallen us. More running. Leviticus Cornwall, the oil, sugar, rail, and greed merchant whom we robbed a while back, had us ambushed in Valentine. 
Uh, seems he has added to the price on our heads. We shot our way out of town and narrowly escaped with our lives. The only amusing aspect of the horror was Herr Strauss getting grazed and acting like he... Turn the page. <laughs> ...was preparing for his short trip down to hell. After this, we fled the country and headed even further south and east, camping by a lake. This is pretty much new country for me. Charles and I saved a family of Germans who were in the process, process of getting themselves killed. He's a better man than me. Uh, he does not need to think to be good. It comes naturally to him. Like, right is deep within, as opposed to this conflict between good and evil that rages within me. If only we had fled west out of Blackwater. We could be free now, out of where we belong, beyond civilization, with the savages and the animals. Here, we won't ever be at home. Ooh, that's a good drawing of Rhodes, man. So it turns out we're holed up outside a town called Rhodes, deep in old cotton country. The place has not recovered from the war, and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which is most of them, are angrier still, but perhaps for other reasons. Adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement. Which I really was not expecting, like that's, that's a change of pace. And have already taken down a major bounty on their behalf, but mostly to rescue slippery old Trelawney, who had got himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there is a long-running blood feud between two old families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. We shall see, I guess. Parlor house. Beautiful, beautiful. Met a fella named Miss Margaret, an animal trainer and showman or show woman. Mistress of danger. Quite a character. Wants me to find some missing animals. <laughs> it turned out to be fake. Real animals, but acting as other ones. Damn, and that's a good drawing of the badge. Deputy Sheriff. Finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy, working for the alcohol-drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grays, ex-Scots, is warring with another proud English family, the Braithwaites. Like some long-running dispute from the border country. Apparently there's gold. I love how he has it all like shiny. Not shiny, but he's got it emphasized on his journal here. So apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this. And if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves. I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their like a long while to find us. In the meantime, a new career path and law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Ah, it's about the fishermen. <laughs> We met an awful fella who will send me money if I send him fish, so he can send others the fish pretending he caught them, so they can pretend they caught them while out fishing with him. At least I think that's it. Either way, the man and Jeremy what Gill was dreadful. To? It's like a whole, like, tunnel of like, oh, he's pretending, they're pretending, we're all pretending. <laughs> And then we met a man, Francis Sinclair, who wants us to find some odd rock carvings and send him details. Not sure why. I probably won't bother. Francis had bright red hair and a birthmark and spoke in an odd way. Ooh, the lion. A while ago, I met an old man dressed as a lady animal trainer. Are all Englishmen that weird, I wonder? All his animals were as fake as the rest of his act, until I was to find and retrieve a real lion from somewhere or other in Africa. I thought it was going to be another dog, but no, it was a real lion. Thing looked like it wanted me for its next meal. After hunting a zebra that was a donkey, and a tiger that was a cougar, and another lion that was just a dog, or I think that's right, I think I've lost track of the whole thing, and an assistant that's a real woman, and him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he isn't. Remind yourself never to go on the stage. <laughs> oh... I helped Mr. Mason take another picture, this time of wild horses, and he gave me a beautiful print of one of the wolves that nearly ate him. Oh, that was like a nice peaceful moment to get all the horses over to him for those pictures. It was a good mission. The weird English guy gave me a pretty decent emerald as payment for my troubles. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. 
Damn, that's pretty too. All the shading makes it kind of spooky. <laughs> I kind of like it. Moonshine! I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. A sour old jug of piss and bullshit I never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard gray boy, Bo. And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope, quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, a Mrs. Calhoun, amused me. I don't know much about good causes, nor the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. World is certainly changing fast. And now we're all caught up! So what do we got? Yeah, definitely we want to look at the... Good morning, Dutch. I'll talk to everyone in a second. I just want to... Oh, there's another book. Forgot Dutch does like to read, so they're going to be around. Um, let's look at the... Ledger. So... We pretty much almost got this all upgraded. We could do... I kind of want to do a chicken coop. Some local farms are selling off old coops, and this will add nutrition to all camp stews, which I think is like, we're doing that one. Why not? Chicken coop has been purchased, increasing the quality of Pearson stew. We can easily do that by donating meat. I know that, um, but I mean, might as well do everything we can to increase it. Oh, I guess. <laughs> camp boats. Yeah, that one's a little expensive. We could do a horse station. I'm gonna do these. Um, because, like, might as well, and then we're done, I think, if I'm understanding correct- uh, excuse me, correctly. <laughs> I keep burping and hiccuping today. Okay, sorry guys. Treat ourselves with more provisions. We got cocaine chewing gum, it said. It added one more thing that I did not see. Oh, and assorted sweets. Well, we love to see that. Um, you know what? I'm doing a horse station. Why not? <laughs> That's all for now. And... Let me see what little things we have to donate as well. Give all debts? Oh, right. I kind of forgot about that. Damn. I, like, really didn't do that, huh? <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, um, let's give an item. Damn, yeah, we need to uh, do something with this emerald. I kind of want, like, some... Well, we have a lot of money. We do have a lot of money. I was about to be like, I want to save some of this stuff for myself. <laughs> um just to sell for like spending money instead of donating it straight to the camp. So I'm gonna do like some of the cheap stuff for now. Um, I don't know, I'm doing that for now. I just wanted my honor to go up. <laughs> hey Charles. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. If you hadn't talked me in. Right, Arthur was ready to kill everyone on sight. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. And just leave right away, let's be real. Audrey and Stone, the exciting life of an outlaw. Yes, if they only knew how boring it really is. <laughs> hey, guys. Always good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah. <sighs> That's yes, true. Is. You know, it just really wasn't meant to be. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, man. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna Ooh, kill the music. Somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. Oh. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. Lady. What is wrong with you two? Damn. Chopping vegetables for a living. 
Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Oh, the floating canned goods. <laughs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Oh! That's rough. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. I like her. You need really anything, do. Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <laughs> Are you coming with me then, woman? Take a chance. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Well, do you think I want to do this? <laughs> We're in it together now. Letter from Mr. Pearson. Yeah. You cool down then yet? Yeah? I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, <laughs> but letter <laughs> is where we draw the line. Being Snoopy, we can't do that. I'm with her. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something. <laughs> I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Uh, Ooh. Uh, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. We it's smart. Somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that bag. I can't believe we're being so snoopy like that. Like, I love it, but damn. Some of that stuff that was in there really is starting to feel like a crime reading that. Dog. Okay, we made it. Where do we want to stop? Over here. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper. Oh my God! Not here. Was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food. <laughs> She's to bloodthirsty, eat. that's no what it guns. is. You're sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Okay. Well, here we go. Have fun. Don't get into trouble, please. <gasps> Doggy! Hey there. Oh, never mind. I was trying to. I thought he was gonna call out to the dog. Not a random person. Hi, sir. I've seen you a few times. Hopefully, you don't remember why. Can I help you, Mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay. No trouble. Thank you. Where do I have a bounty at? Hold on. 
Oh, nothing. Okay. I was about to say, I've been you very good recently. Well, there it is. I see you following me. What is it? I'm not following you. You're just you just happen to be in front of me, and I'm, we're leaving at the same time, sir. <laughs> That's like me <laughs> when I'm driving around my neighborhood and I notice this car has been following me for a while and I'm like, mm, if they turn onto my street, I don't know how to act. But it's like never like that. We just all live in the same area, Kaylee. <laughs> okay. Um, Sadie, what's, what's going on? You got a new outfit and it looks really good. I think this is everything. Thanks. Oh, you had him load everything up? up yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. That's so funny. Girl, okay, you look so badass. Down here. Okay. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not yeah, lady. let's not be calling her that. <laughs> get it up. Even though so, it rhymes. You get everything? I think so. And some new Ooh. clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. It looks like good. I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. She should play it with Charles, because Charles likes My to play the harmonica. Everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. We do need a cook. Hey um. there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. Why can't you leave us alone? No more in Raider country. Keep it cool. You see. need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, she got that gun ready. How about Good you girl. pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh! <laughs> Am I driving? Is she driving? She's driving. She's driving. We're good. I love how I feel the need to shoot them multiple times every time. <laughs> Here we are. <sighs> we got a damn varmint rifle. You okay there, Sadie? Of course. Think I can handle these fools? We're dual wielding it. Oh, you, I can shoot it. Alright, I gotta move closer. To this ain't good. Whoa, Arthur, where are we going, sir? We're doing good, we're doing good. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'll drive us back. Well, thanks, Sadie. All right. It's a good thing I shot those guys multiple times when I was using Dead Eye, because, yep, I had my freaking varmint rifle on me. I haven't been on my horse in a while. So it makes sense, I guess. Haven't been able to choose my loadout. Either way, we did it pretty effortlessly. Kinda proud of us. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough Aww, trouble already. I thought she was I'm gonna drive. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? 
Remind me not to get on your bad side. Oh, she's totally badass. So badass. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring any No, it was around. it was oh I'm going the wrong way. Maybe. If he asked. It was self-defense. Don't act like they weren't gonna shoot us anyway. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah. I've run into them a few times now. Some local gang who don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Mm. Anyway. Won't you go upset and piercing about that letter? How dare you? I'll dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I have wildly, making no small name for Yeah, myself. get it all out now. I'll be giving you no <laughs> mail to post anytime soon. Especially mine. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The man of the mm, No. No. Never getting the journal. That's like rule number one for anybody. It's a journal for a reason. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. Well, I'd oh, like to I say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. She did more than okay. Yes, that shot. She's gonna be my new favorite. You, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I Damn. lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss <laughs> High and Mighty. That was so and fun! Was dance, I really was wondering when it would be that we would, you know, see more of Sadie. I was worried that we won it, and you know, I'm just, I'm really grateful about that. Okay, so let me at least um donate that deer meat before I forget. Yep, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna donate it all. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. You are welcome. Okay, so oh, Jack. Hey, dude. Well, I'm gonna take some stew. It's been a while since I've been able to eat some. Jack didn't want to talk to me. The game said no Jack time for you today. <laughs> Jack, come back. I've been wanting to talk to you. Where is he at? Oh, he's just walking in circles. Hey there, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. You'll be good now. Okay, Uncle Arthur. That's all I needed. <laughs> I just needed some Jack time. All right, well, anyway. I think this is a great place to end the episode right here. We've got a lot of things going on with the Greys and the Braithwaites that I would love to visit next time. So I can't wait for that. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that post notification bell to stay up to date on the rest of my Red Dead Redemption 2 uploads. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.